All right, guys, so we're continuing on with another depressing episode of What's Next, man. What's next for Caitlyn Chukagian? Caitlyn Chukagian suffered the worst loss of her career by losing to one of the worst fighters in the UFC, you know, the number nine ranked flyweight, uh, Jessica I. Jessica I went down to flyweight and she really just... She reinvented herself, or I can't say reinvented. I want to say she post-dated herself or some, something like that. Like she was able to kind of tap into sort of the retro eye because Jessica, I was a flyweight. She truly was a flyweight and she was a good fighter back at flyweight. She came into the UFC. She fought a bantamweight, couldn't win a fight to save her life. The one fight that she did win, she lost it because it had to be a no contest because she popped for marijuana. You know, nobody's blaming her for that one. It is what it is. But anyway, she just went out there and beat Caitlyn Chukagian. Split decision at UFC 231 this past Saturday. And Caitlyn Chukagian is just a great fighter. I do think she's a really good fighter. I think that she has some issues, some things that she needs to work on in terms of aggression, in terms of knowing when to take the fight to the ground, in terms of knowing when to close the distance, in terms of power, putting a little punch behind her punch, if you know what I mean. So there's obviously things to work on, but Caitlyn is, Caitlin is a really, really good fighter. She is. She really is. She'll outpoint you. She'll submit you on the ground. You really can't ask for much more than that. You know, it's like if somebody brings you that, you're like, all right, all right. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. But she fucked around and lost to damn Jessica I because of the aggression. You know, Jessica I was just killing her with the volume of punches, you know, this weekend, whoo, them first two fights, they were really tough for me to to really get past because Eric Anders lost. He fought a very strange fight. I, I want to stop saying stupid fight, but it the fight IQ was low. If it wasn't low, it was it was low. That's all I'll say. It was a very, very low fight IQ, if not negative. And then Caitlin Chikagian went in there and lost. And that was like, how do you lose to Jessica I? You know, you guys heard my post-fight interview. Everybody was saying, I heard some people, Tsar Leonardi was like, the hater rate is, the hater rate is flowing, man. It's flowing thick right now. And it was, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I was like, I felt like I had the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder. Tsar Leonardo, he was like, hey, Jay, chill out, man. That hater rate is a bunch of empty calories. It may be good right now. And then the devil was George Page telling me, indulge, indulge, go for it. We don't like I, we don't like I. Anyways, guys, I have found a very happy medium to where I can do a video about Jessica I, but every once in a while, I might just throw a little shade. So, hey, that's my happy medium, but this is what I'll say. For Caitlyn Chukagan, she has lost that fight and it will send her down the ranking it is going to send her down i don't think it's going to send her that far to be honest i think she's going to go from three to four if not three to five i mean she can't get that much she can't really fall that low because you're talking about below so caitlin chicago was number three number four was sajar eubanks who is now not in the division alexis davis who she beat Liz Carmouche who beat her so that's the only thing I can see I can see Liz Carmouche jumping ahead of Caitlyn Chikagian that's the only thing and maybe they might rematch you know who knows then there's Roxanne Modafferi and Lauren Murphy tied at number seven um all of these fighters are, uh, Lauren Murphy's coming off a loss. Roxanne Modafferi's coming off a loss. Alexis Davis is coming off a loss. Sajar Eubanks is out of the division. Jessica, Jessica Rose Clark is coming off of a loss. Ashley Evans Smith is coming off of pulling out of a fight against, uh, Antonita Shevchenko. That is technically considered a loss. In the fans book, man, that's a loss. You pull out with one of the Shevchenkos. We already know what that means. Joanne Calderwood is coming off of a win. JJ uh, Jojo 2.0 already has a fight book, so she can't fight Joanne Calderwood. To be honest, guys, I didn't have anything in mind. When I thought about this what's next, I had nothing in mind. I just want to do it. I just literally wanted to do a very sad series of what's next for all of the fighters who all of my, you know, all of the fighters who hold a little special place in my heart. 
all of those fighters. I wanted to do a what's next for all of those fighters. You know, just to keep them rolling, just to share my thoughts about them. We're all talking about the winners right now, and I just want to share a couple of thoughts about the people who had to take that L. So, Caitlin Chukagan, I actually think the what's next actually is Liz Carmouche. I think the what's next is to get that L back from Liz Carmouche. Now, Liz Carmouche looks like the type of fighter that anybody could beat, but you can't quite beat her, right? She knows how to win. Let's see. So Liz Carmouche is actually, you remember when, um, I think it was UFC 228 where Joanna was basically coming up roses. Everything was Joanna. Everything about it. I mean, trying to think what happened there. The flyweight division. There were two fights on that card. Everybody was talking about Joanna's next. Joanna's next. And then Valent, uh, old girl pulled out of the fight with Valentina. Nico pulled out of the fight with Valentina. They were like, ah, oh, they might as well just pick Joanna. Everything was coming up, Joanna. Right now, this fight card, everything is coming up, Liz Carmouche. I think that. So basically, Liz Carmouche has a win over the UFC flyweight champion, Valentina Shevchenko. She also has a win over the UFC, over uh, Caitlin Chukagan, who just was the contender. She was just a flyweight contender. Let's see. Does she have a win over Jessica I? Because everybody and everybody has a win over Jessica I. Oh, she doesn't have a win over Jessica I. So I is definitely next. You know, I is definitely going to be next for that title shot for sure. She's 3-0. and oh, And she took Caitlin Jukagian's flyweight O. Oh. So she's definitely next for the title shot. All right. So what's next for Caitlin Jukagian in the flyweight division? She needs to get that L back from Liz Carmouche. Caitlin Chukagan versus Liz Carmouche is next. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button.